Hi everyone, today I'm sharing with you one of my all time favourite recipes, sesame chicken. Now here is all of the ingredients you will need, plus the chicken of course, and garlic, and the flour and egg. So I've poured some plain flour on a plate already, and as you can see the chicken fillets are already cut up. I'm now adding the egg into the chicken fillets and I'm going to mix it all in to the chicken. And the next part is the messy part. This is the part where you get your hands sticky. <laughs> and you pick up the chicken fillets covered in the egg and roll it in the flour and you literally do this one by one. So it does take a while but it's worth it in the end. It gives it that nice crispy taste as well. So definitely worth it. Don't skip this bit because it tastes so much better. So once it's done, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. I usually pick up brown sugar because it's usually brown sugar that you use, but I cannot get hold of it anywhere. I have no idea why. So I'm using golden granulated sugar this time. Next is the honey and this time around I've put around four tablespoons of honey but honestly I usually just wing the amounts on each of these ingredients because it just depends on how much I'm making as well so don't stick by the book you can do what you like but as long as you've got this ingredients it will taste amazing. And then I'm putting some dark soy sauce in this time again I've put around three tablespoons in but like I said you can do as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm now adding in some tomato ketchup and oh my gosh recently I've discovered a chili tomato ketchup so I've started using that in the sesame chicken and it is so much nicer so if you're gonna do it use chili ketchup. In goes the ginger paste. I don't always put this in, it really depends if you like ginger as well. So I've done it with both and it tastes pretty similar anyway. I have also added garlic. A sprinkle of salt and some white wine vinegar. I usually use rice vinegar, but again, it's something I can't get hold of. So I'm just using what's in the cupboard that's similar. And then some sesame oil and last but not least corn flour. Give it all a mix. Add some oil in a pan and then get frying the chicken that's covered in the egg and flour. It is a little bit tedious when you've got to do each and every chicken piece, but yeah, like I said, definitely worth it. I am using a larger pan here as well, so I do manage to get everything in luckily. Uh, just make sure you keep an eye on it and keep turning each piece over until they're all golden brown. And then I pat dry the chicken just to get rid of any excess oils on there. I then just give the pan a quick wipe down. I then add the chicken back into the pan and the sauce as well. Give it all a mix and then I simmer just for a few minutes just to thicken the sauce up a little bit and then you should have something that looks a little bit like this. I then get some broccoli ready and I've already made the rice and there you have it the perfect fake away sesame chicken meal honestly it's like eating a Chinese takeaway it's amazing and definitely one of my favorite meals that we have at least once a week I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more until next time guys I will see you all soon.